right, we're taking a look at our DLR week 17, day two. All right, let me uh, screen snip it really quick. We want the full screen right here. All right, what'd you guys think? It says, has you read the book, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland? Hey, Scarlito, you want to grab my sheet for me? It says, has you read the book, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland? Um, what's the first thing you see there, Melania, that jumps right at you? Like, man, that doesn't sound right. Yes. Yeah, so what? Have. Yes, has should be have. Thank you. Have you read the book, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland? Uh, I see something jumping up. Xander. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Very good, Xander. Have you read the book, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland? Um, do you see anything else? I don't. Have you? Have you read the book, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland? I don't see anything else, you guys. All right. So it looks like we have one, two, three, four corrections for this one. All right. And then you would obviously... We're going small and accurate when you write your workout, okay? All right, take a look. Emily. Well, we underlined it. So you could do either or. Yeah, no, nah, they underlined the title, so that's that would suffice. Okay? You ready? The tail... The tale begins where Alice sees a rabbit who is wearing a coat and look at the watch. Ooh, that's a mess. It is a mess, you guys. I see a homophone mix-up. Who can spot the homophone mix-up? Aiden. That is the homophone mix-up. The tale begins where, is it where? That's, right? We're talking about time, not location, right? So what should that be right there? The tale begins, not where, but when. The tale begins when Alice sees a rabbit would it be who is? What should that be instead of who? That is wearing a coat and look at the watch. And looking, that's right. All right, so now let's read it again. The tale begins when Alice sees a rabbit that is wearing a coat and looking at the watch. Jack, what should it be? A watch. a watch. Now let's read it. The tale begins when Alice sees a rabbit that is wearing a coat and looking at a watch. Does that sound better now? It does. One, two, three, four, five. Now, our mantra is read at it right. And I'm going to tell you right now that most of the corrections that you should find are audible it means you'll hear them you're gonna hear them some of them you have to just know like tail and tail you have to know that that's a homophone mix-up right and you'll get that you'll, that'll come but when i say hey guys make sure you read and then read it again and then read it again because each time you read it you're gonna you're gonna hear it and you're gonna know if that sound if it sounds right to you right i'm gonna read it the original messed up way that it was uh, Kingston, you ready? The tale begins when, where Alice sees a rabbit who is wearing a coat and look at the watch. Does that sound right to you? No. So as we continue to read it, we can pick out those things that, that, that do not sound correct. So that's why we read and then we edit. And finally, we write our final product. Right, Noah? Yeah. All right. 
Add punctuation to the sentence. Oh, my ears and whiskers. How late it's getting, says the rabbit. Now, Emily. <laughs> yes. Where do they go? You said after the exclamation point. Oh, my ears and whiskers. How late it's getting, says the rabbit. Right? I think we're good. That's all we needed there. Right? <clears throat> Did you guys add the quotation marks? No, because there's a exclamation point. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Oh, my ears and whiskers. How late it's getting, says the rabbit. Right? You read it like that because it's excited. He's, there's a, it's an excited statement. Right? And that's why we do the exclamation point. Are you ready for this? Uh, complete the sentence with the prepositional phrase. Oh, good, because we've been talking about those, haven't we? Then circle the preposition. Alice follows the white rabbit down a rabbit hole or because he is cute. Which one is a prepositional phrase? Yes. Down a rabbit hole is the prepositional phrase. Hey, uh, who can, who's really on top of things and can tell me what the actual preposition is in this, in this phrase? So the phrase down a rabbit hole, okay, is the prepositional phrase. Which, which word is just the preposition? Hey, uh, Michael. Down. There you have it. All right. Okay. Well, there it is. DLR week 17, day two in the books. Tadero out. out.